Awesome. You can see all of the new section uh -huh. in the bottom. Uh -huh. And then the, this panel was actually a little bit on the long side. Okay. So I had to section uh, it, move okay. it over. It's pretty typical of uh -huh. aftermarket body stuff. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad that we have the corner, I wasn't sure. Yeah, you know, That's that worked out really good. So you can see that everything is nice and fit and nice. lines up nice uh -huh. and then once that seam is welded then uh -huh. this gets rolled back yeah, yeah. in awesome it's ever so slightly the wrong shape but yeah yeah that's kind of what you expect out of aftermarket stuff especially uh -huh. with heavy heavy reliefs uh -huh. good morning everyone progress are made on the van uh this is day two not even 24 hours since I dropped my van. Yeah, 24 hours. Um, so today is supposed to be the big day of storm and bad weather. So far it's great, <laughs> but I don't think it's gonna last. All right, there's a couple of things that I need to uh, modify and change. You see this big space here? Uh, so this is my system in my van. It's a uh, extension shower rotten that I just twist to the right dimension. But my van, it stopped right here, so it's perfect. The plastic here uh, stopped pretty further, which is not the greatest. So um, let's see if I can cover things a little bit better. I don't know. I got the a blanket at Chrome Shop. Then we're gonna try to figure out some some system because we we don't have any privacy here, which I don't mind during the day, but at night everyone can see my light and see me inside, which is not the greatest. All right, it's a little bit better. So I squeeze this blanket just between. Keep my heat in the back a little bit more. Uh, so yeah, last night there was not the window were frozen so it was cold outside inside the blanket was totally fine of uh, three blanket and i was not cold uh kitty was underneath one blanket which sometimes she do on my other van anyway uh she liked it and uh yeah we were totally fine we were squeezing me and kitty together uh i was at one point to be honest i was like it was too hot <laughs> had to let a little bit of cold air coming inside <laughs> it was uh, because I had so much blanket on top of me which is a good thing and in the morning I didn't want to get up of the bed though usually in my van I have the luxury of just pushing the heater on and I can stay a little bit like maybe half an hour inside the blanket with Kitty snuggling until the van just warm up a little bit uh, but in this van I have to pretty much get out to turn this one on <laughs> and at that point I was like well I'm out <laughs> uh, so yeah so it was it was cold <laughs> to get up and put clothes on and all this and change but other than this little detail it was fine at least we weren't we were not cold uh, last night but yeah like I said today or tonight supposed to get really bad weather uh, it start to get a little bit more windy, but it's gonna be really bad, I think, tonight. Or at least that's what they said, so we'll see, we'll see. Yep, this is how noisy those heaters are. To be honest, Kelly is scared a little bit of the heater so far. Uh, <laughs> last night she had a mix of like, I want to be there because it's warm, but I'm scared of that noise. <laughs> I thought it would last a couple, like, you know, I thought I'd have, like, after a couple of minutes, maybe, but, yeah, even this morning, she went a little bit, see me, I was on the laptop and everything, but after a little bit, she was like, nope, and now she's in, still in the front, even though it's nice and warm in the back, she's like, no, nope. I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait, <laughs> it is, is noisy, but it's warm, it's warm, as soon as I remove the heater, it's gonna get cold. <laughs> we don't have any insulation so i wanted to take a little second i hope the heater is not too noisy uh to talk about that i'm gonna put my ebook my uh cooking ebook uh on sale 50 percent uh black friday whatever you want to call it uh and i have my kind of like three years or four years anniversary on youtube coming uh so 
kind of celebrate all of that all together book for sale i'm gonna put the link it's gonna be at the bottom it's gonna be everywhere uh my ebook if you didn't have the copy yet um yeah that's your chance 50 percent all the way to the end of the month it's been a little bit windy fell a little, little bit asleep i was at bed but the van is cold now but miss kelly is uh, is hiding under the blanket so i cannot move All right, I think we're gonna move. Have some branch or some stuff that start falling on the van. Uh, I'm quite far from the trees though, but yeah, we're gonna try to find a place out of trees. If we can, maybe some power line or something. <laughs> I don't know, we're gonna try to find a place safe to park for tonight. <laughs> no tree around here it is it is bad it's gonna be an entertaining uh, night guys is it the right spot I don't know <laughs> I think so so the whole street just lost bar <laughs> so that's the little bit of light that I have now not too bad it's pretty good it's pretty good so a little trick from when uh, <laughs> when I didn't have a heater I was putting all my mattress my bedding sorry away so when you drive and especially when you live in a small car where it, you know you can warm up the place easy because this is cold but if I flip it it's gonna it's gonna become warm here yeah. We should be good. I moved to another place. I didn't like the power line, so I moved away from the power line. I don't have any power line. I have a tree there, but it's not really big. It can be a little couple of mini branch, really small. And there's a bigger tree in front of me, but the wind's going that direction. So if branch go, they gotta go away from me. So we should be all good. Uh, <laughs> it's always something we can live in the van and the weather is bad. You just like, okay let's try to be safe <laughs> so i think i think we should be all right uh it looked pretty chaotic so i think tomorrow morning is gonna be an interesting drive uh i don't know all the power archer is gonna last but I figure that you know this is just the beginning of what they were saying it was supposed to increase all night and coming a little bit down in the morning so i have a feeling that uh, may take a couple hours uh, a little bit of time for the bar to come back for people so yeah uh, I'm gonna pick you up guys tomorrow we're gonna see all the craziness because I have a feeling it's gonna happen <laughs> all right have a good night guys and I'll see you tomorrow in a couple seconds for you <laughs> good morning everyone this was an interesting night <laughs> A lot of wind, <laughs> but I found it quite good, and it was not too cold in the van. But right now, I'm just like, um, I think a lot of people are still out of power because I'm currently at Tim Morton, and it's got more people than I ever saw in this Tim Morton. <laughs> I think like the lineup for for the drive-through go all the way to the street. <laughs> so, I'm gonna finish to eat that. We're gonna do some driving, warm up a little bit the van. I didn't start the heater in the back yet. Um, gonna do a little bit of driving and see what's going on. See um, how much uh, damage. Hopefully not too many, but it was windy.
Yeah, there's a little bit of damage. Couple uh, trees, fence that I saw too as well. Uh, but yeah, I saw worse to be honest. At uh, one time, uh, I think that was the first year. I think yeah, I was living in my car <laughs> in Squamish. It had a huge windstorm. Something similar to yesterday, but I was in the parking lot of Walmart and I saw all the card where you put the shopping cart, the whole thing just like went with the wind and all the shopping cart was just like going everywhere. <laughs> and I was like, no, I was trying, I <laughs> went in the front and tried to kind of escape and try to see where they're all going to one direction. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm going to pull into another <laughs> spot. Uh, and all like construction side and everything, like all the construction, board and things were all flying all over the place i think squamish was out of power for like several several several, several hours uh yeah it was a big windstorm uh quite similar to this one but i think it was bigger in the squamish uh, the first time it's kind of like if interesting the first time that you have like a windstorm in a car or in a van you just feel so you feel almost outside <laughs> you know you don't get wet you don't feel the wind but you you feel in in the sense that your van or your car is rocking and you're just like i hope i park at the right place which i'm glad yesterday i parked at a good place not underneath your power line and not close from any trees which is hard sometimes to find all those conditions you know in a place that you can park but I find it. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe. I think that's gonna be it for us today. We're just gonna start the heater, chill in the back. Um, and yeah, I'm, I don't plan to go outside today. I'm gonna let the, the rest of this storm pass by. <laughs> uh, so yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And I'm gonna leave you with Miss Kitty. I'm sure you guys gotta have a kiss though, because Miss Kitty is watching the birds right now. Hmm, yeah. We have some bird here. Yeah, kitty. Mmm, little bird. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't think uh, I don't think we're gonna have a kiss. Yeah, a kiss? No, I don't think it's more interesting. Sorry, guys. <laughs> All right, we'll see you in the next one.